Alright folks, today I'm going to show you, or try to show you, how to play uh, Casey Musgrave's Slow Burn on a ukulele. Um, and there's a couple things before we start I want to kind of point out uh, that will make it a little bit easier for you. Uh, so the chords we've got, uh, just to go over those real quick, are A sustain 2. This is kind of an odd chord for uh, most people, they don't come across it a whole lot. But it's played like this, see the finger chart there. And then we've got an E minor, we've got a G, a D, and a C. So that puts it in the key of G, and uh, the things I want to show you are this. Um, when we go from the A sustain 2, we go to an E minor. Okay, so what you want to do is your, your ring finger is on the 3rd string 4th fret for the A sustain 2. Your index finger is on the 2nd fret, uh, barring across the 2nd fret. And to go to the E minor, we want to leave our ring finger there, move our index finger down to the 2nd fret 1st uh, string, so again it's still 2nd fret position, and then the uh, middle finger will just drop down on the 3rd fret, um, of the second string, so that eliminates some of your some of your hand movement. Okay, if you'll just go from that to that. Okay. Um, the other thing is when we go from there's a part where we go from that A sustain two to a C chord. Now normally I'd play a C chord with my ring finger because that's my third finger, third fret position. 3rd uh, fret on the 1st string, but because of my hand position here on that A sustain 2, it makes more sense to just lift up my other fingers and drop my middle finger down on the 3rd fret, because that's, that's the fret position it's already lined up on. So we're going to go from that to just drop our middle finger down on that 3rd fret position, and then we'll have to transition to our G chord. But uh, that will save you a little bit of work if you'll not lift up all your fingers to go to the E minor and to go to the C. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and get started here. I'll try, try to suffer through my singing here. Alright, so it's got the intro that goes uh, A sustain 2. Uh, it's pretty much the, the, the intro is the, prog the chord progression pattern for the song, which is A sustain 2, E minor. G, B, and then A sustain 2, C, G, and D. So same chord progression except the first time they play an E minor and the second time they play a C. So we go... to the verse. Same uh, musical interlude as the uh, intro was. Don't close for 
back into the chorus. I'm alright with a slow burn. Taking my time with the world turn. I'm gonna do it my way, it'll be alright. If we burn it down, it'll take so night. It's a slow burn. This is kind of a weird part of the song. It just goes C, and, and uh, she sings, whatever feels good, and then a G, and then it goes into a musical interlude, which is kind of like the intro. You play the intro and the, the first interlude chords twice, and then the last chord progression is a little bit odd in that it, it appears to be an A sustain 2, an E minor, a C, a G, and a D. So it's like they play the E minor, the C, which are the chords that swap back and forth, but they play both of them this time, and then go to the G and the D. So at any rate, it would go like this. do that twice and then the last time you go and those chords are played really softly I'm playing them loud so you can hear them but they're they're really played more like So just play with the record. You'll get you'll figure it out. Old soul in my turn. I know a few things, but still got a lot to learn. So I'm alright with a slow burn. Slow burn. Alright, that's it. Hopefully it helps you. Again, I apologize for my singing. I know I'm terrible. At any rate, uh, but hopefully that'll help you play along if you like uh, Casey Musgrave's Slow Burn. It's an awesome song.